Second and seven, Pittsburgh brings an extra man. Purdy can't get away from T.J. Watt. The ball came out and Watts got it. Did it come out before Purdy was down? From the 46, Purdy drilled and drops. T.J. Watt, second time today that he gets home. Colton McKivitz has just got to stand up. He's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't have any help. Gets turned pretty quick. And you know, T.J. Watt will talk about it. He can play both sides. Brock Purdy really sharp today. Pressure from behind and sacked. Well, the ball came out. It was Watt that got there again. And he's got the ball. Offense number 74. That penalty will be added to the dead ball spot. It'll be first down for Pittsburgh. Strip sack stand. They confirm that Del Pitt did secure that ball going to the ground. Now Watson is brought down by Ogan Joby. Out for the rest of the night. Who knows how long. Second and ten. Watson in trouble. Flag flies and Watson dragged down by DeMarvin Leal. Watson in trouble. There he is. T.J. Watt. What Neil showing blitz. Here he comes. Pressure ball out. Picked up. Watt. Touchdown Steelers. There's Alex Highsmith and Jedrick Ellis with the speed rush. He gets on him in a hurry. And then with the scoop and run it in by T.J. Watt. They've needed every bit of this defense to make these kinds of plays, and they have delivered. Four-man rush. Watson keeping it alive, but not anymore. Down he goes. And another sack by this Steeler defense. They're really effective with it, and Watson has to get, just get rid of the ball. Third down. Watson stays on his feet. Now he's down, Elijah Riley. Once they start getting down the field, they tighten everything up. Five-man rush, and just nowhere for Watson to go. As he gets out of the pocket. It's amazing. 25, in trouble, T.J. Watson. Loss of nine. Garoppolo trying to step up. Can't get rid of it against Bent. Look out. Bent dangerously as the ball comes out the other way. Let's check on Garoppolo. He was being held underneath. Bent back like a pretzel. Offense. Uh, Garoppolo goes down. Garoppolo gets the pressure from the other side, and Marcus Golden coming up with a sack. Justice Hill is in there, fumbled on the last Baltimore possession. Jackson is dumped. Back at the 37, T.J. Watt. Third and six. Jackson is dropped. Quan Alexander. The Ravens trailing 14 to 10. First down, Jackson, ball is out. Sitting there, scooped up by the Steelers, T.J. Watt. Highsmith knocks it free. Feel the pressure, step up. Highsmith right there for the play. There was room to climb the pocket. Lamar Jackson didn't. Highsmith pops it free. Fourth down. That ends it. And it's fitting. T.J. Watt has just slammed the door shut on the Baltimore Ravens. Steelers bringing more pressure. Highsmith came around the edge, and Stafford goes down. Larry Ogunjobi ends up with the sack. His Pressure coming. Stafford gets hit. It's Nick Herbig, the rookie out of Wisconsin, with his first NFL sack.
High school quarterbacking and college tight end days. Lawrence, deep drop. Lawrence. Slam down at the 25. ETN is back in. He's dealing with a right ankle issue. Lawrence, first down. Lawrence gets crushed. They meet at the quarterback. Adams trying to get a piece at the end of it as well. But when he forced Lawrence to step right up into the waiting arms of number 50. Side. Lawrence in trouble. And Lawrence will take the sack at the 41. T.J. Watt. Yeah, this one they're going to want back because look at Watt at the bottom of your screen. You're going to leave the rookie Anton Harrison in this situation one-on-one -on -one and throw a drop-back pass. You're just asking for trouble on this one. Guaranteed Press Taylor would say, yeah, I should add someone on that. Levis. Gets a, well, what else is new? Another flag. Down he goes. Watt knocks him down. Tennessee at its own 40-yard line. Levis, pressure, sack at the 36-yard line. Alex Highsmith. <laughs> Burks in motion. Play fake, look out. Can't spin away. The ball comes loose. Was he down? That was Marcus Golden that time. Creates this sack. Petit Frere comes right back, first play. They get underneath by slanting and angling. He almost has another hold. Come out. Four catches for Phillips tonight. Levis under pressure, swallowed up at the 18 yard line. Motion man is Watson. Love straight back. Love devoured from behind by TJ Watts. Back at the 15 yard line. Just over seven minutes to go. Thompson Robinson steps up, and he's brought down. Watch how he retreats so far back into the lap of his quarterback. He makes it tough on him to be able to step up. And Here is the coordinator of this group, third down and seven. Browning looking, Browning, sack from behind, loses the ball. T.J. Watt knocked it free, and Cincinnati recovers. Back in the pocket and having two hands on the football. That's all fine and dandy until T.J. Watt shows up. And, you know, extra time at the end. There's 7.08 on the clock. Browning out of the pocket on a third and five. Browning trying to set his feet, gets blasted. Nick Herbig. Tease quarterback. Look at him close. Gets an arm up to discourage him from throwing. On third down and long. Browning step up. Browning can't get out of there. And he is devoured by Watt and Hayward. And he draws Porter. Look out! T.J. Watt blows it up. Browning didn't have a chance. Here they come! Tony goes! Highsmith! With the first down and goal, fake to Connor. Here comes the rush! Tony goes! Watt! T.J. Watt! His league leading 14th sack. Look out. Sack. 31 yard line. A Landon Roberts having 20. And three touchdowns. Third and seven. Hanging in, but not for long. Cam Hayward. Who's been rolling. Minshew. Taken down and sacked. There's TJ Watt. Great job with the hands right there. Slap the hands down. Get the. When she steps up. And he's taken down. Hogan Joe. Defense is you get him in third and long. Force Garner Minshew to move. And have to. Big receiver. Gain of 42. Oh, Minshew kept it. And TJ Watt is saying thank you. Third and 11. Here comes Watt. Got a hand on him. Browning escapes. Flag is down and one on the second effort. Bull comes out and Cincinnati has it back. Browning feeling the pressure. He goes down. Alex Highsmith. He's too fast. Third and six. Browning feeling the pressure. Down he goes. Another sack for the Steelers. Miles Jack gets. Let Miles Jack get in on the sack party. 
Start from the 25. Smith in trouble. Down he goes and the ball comes loose. Steelers have recovered. About Geno Smith throwing on time. You have Nick Herbert coming around the corner and you cannot hold the football against these defensive ends for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He held once, held twice, and as soon as you add Odell Beckham and Zay Flowers and Rashad Bateman stays healthy, this is what happens. And there's a sack swarming in and getting after the quarterback is Mark Robinson from his linebacker position, the first sack of the day. They send extra rushes on a regular basis because, again, they want to go ahead and force the issue with the quarterbacks, regardless of who's playing. It has to continue to operate efficiently like they have over the past few weeks. Run the football. Don't turn it over. Don't hold on to it. Doesn't get rid of the ball there. Brought down by T.J. Watt, who does have sack number 18 on the season and takes over the league lead. It's third and long. Huntley is swarmed and sacked. You could see it coming as T.J. Watt and Cam Hayward both got there. This is spectacular. The get off, the lean Lou, and then the ability to get home. Look, that's Terrell Austin right there. Huntley running out of time, and that will fall down. Takes a sack back at the 24. Marcus Golden jumped on him. It's fourth down. If they leave the middle of the field open, keep taking it. From the pocket, Allen is taken down. That's Marcus Golden who got the sack. They needed production out of Golden without T.J. Watt. On second and ten. They got him, they got him for a second time in this game. Wrapping him up this time is Highsmith. But Highsmith, who's been outstanding, he's had, he's the one who really 